Today on The Grid, we're doing photography website critiques of our viewer sites. Our special guest today is the always awesome Jeff Leinbach. Eric the Kuna Man, K-Man, Kuna is here, and we're giving away some relatively cool prizes. And it all starts in just 60 seconds. The Grid is brought to you by Tamron. Check out their 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 lens. It's for Sony full frame mirrorless. It's awesome. Go to tamron-usa.com. And Profoto, the light shaping company. Check out the Profoto B1X, powered all the right places. Go to profoto.com slash US. And Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. Well, hey. Well, hey, everybody, and <laughs> welcome to another live episode of The Grid. My name is Scott Kelby. I've lost my glasses. Hold on. I don't feel like me without them. Hang on. Don't move. <laughs> don't do anything. Hang on. And welcome to The Grid. Uh, we are joined today by Mr. Eric Kuhneman, the Kuhneman Kuna. Hey, Scott. That's, That's a double, it's good double to, It's good to finally have you back on The Grid. Yeah, I've been around. I've been doing some stuff. Special and episode. Our spe speaking of special, special, our special guest today Jeff Leinbach, the awesome photographer and just cool guy. If you've ever been to Photoshop World, you recognize him because he's everywhere at Photoshop World doing everything, including staying up till one in the morning, helping me light a motorcycle and all kinds <laughs> of other crazy yeah. crap that we, that we do at Photoshop World at the last minute because that's how we roll. That's how we roll. Good Absolutely. to have you here, Jeff. Thank you. Great to be here again. Appreciate it. So today we are doing uh, critiques of our viewers' websites. Yesterday we mm -hmm. put out a call to our viewers and said, Send us your photography website, and we're going to look at not so much your photos, but we're really looking at the design and layout of your actual photography website. So that's what we are doing today. We're going to look at a whole bunch of them, but I have a special announcement. Dun, dun, dun. Ready? This is our 400th episode of The Grid. How can that be possible? Well, I guess it is. We've been doing it a long time. It's that math thing. 400th episode. Episode 400. We even have a special graphic, which is very exciting. We can't see it here. We in the can't studio. see anything here in the studio right, right now. So, so and Scott we, needs to connect we, to NDI. I'm going to. One a year. How many years does that make? Or one a week? Well, it's been for about. How many years? It's been at least seven years, mm -hmm. if not eight years now. Yeah, there's 52 right. weeks in a year. 52 weeks in a year. And we don't do it on like two weeks yeah, we out do of the about year. 50, 50 weeks. Yeah. Interesting. So, so also, you got to connect to it too, there, bro. I guess they want me to show something. All right. And uh, so, anyway, uh, Jeff's here. Eric's here. We're all here. There we oh, there we are. Okay, our thing just came <laughs> on here in the studio. Yeah, all right, so that's good. So anyway, uh, Christina's here. She's moderating. She's, she's acting very moderate today. There she is on your comments. And uh, Juan is on the cameras. Oh, no, that's not Juan. Mike is on the cameras. Where's Mike's Juan? I don't know. We lost Juan, but he was here a minute ago. He He's was. probably, Juan likes to often go to a bar while we're <laughs> yeah, You'll, he'll, he'll call in sometimes though and say, is everything okay? You know, call me if you need me. It's happy yeah, hour. Hey, as long as he's watching I tell on his cell phone. Yeah, okay. when it's he's happy like, hour. He's like, the minute it hits 5 o'clock, he's 5 o'clock, man, he is, he is straight to a bar. Anyway, but uh, of course, just kidding. So we have some giveaways today too. We're going to be giving away my, uh, my book, the Landscape Photography Book. Here it is right here. So that is, uh, I'm going to put it over here by Jeff. Watch, if you put it by Jeff, it goes to a close-up. There it is, the Landscape is. Photography Book, already in its third printing. It's just a few months old, so go get it, because uh, it's, it's, people like it. And, and. <laughs> and we're giving away a Platypod Max. This is the big boy, the Platypod Megapod. So this is, instead of using a tripod, you're going to use this. The and world's best tripod alternative. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. And uh, I took one with me to China and used it numerous times in numerous places. But I was kind of out in rural China. You can put up a tripod anywhere. But, but if, if it's not a situation where you can't use a tripod, you just want a different shooting angle. Like you want yep, a low angle or you want to put angle. it someplace where your tripod won't fit. Or, or close to an edge or a ledge because you're like, I'm yeah, not going to get over there. Or when you're packing it out. Yep. I did that on the ice a lot when I was up with Rami. I put yep. it on the ice when I wasn't slide sure about it. Slide it out. It out. Yep. Yeah. 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 Or you when can, you're packing light, you don't have to carry a tripod on this absolutely. trip. Absolutely. I have my platypod, that's all I brought. There you go. There you go. I was in Innsbruck, Austria, and uh, I was uh, where I was, there was no good place to put a tripod, so we strapped my platypod onto mm -hmm. a railing. 
Yeah. So there you go. Yep. It's everywhere. We're giving away one of those today. We're going to give away the big boys, so that's if you have the big lens. All right, so we are going to look at our readers' questions. There was one more thing I wanted to mention, though. What was it? Hang on. Let me look at my list here. Oh, Ooh, this is big. Saturday. Saturday is my worldwide photo walk. So all around the world, yeah. cities all over everywhere are going to get together. We're walking for two hours, and it's free. It's fun. This is the 12th year. So go to WorldwidePhotoWalk.com, sign up to join a walk near you. Just go to Yeah, if you go there, you just go right hit, up here to, to find, find a, a walk, walk right here. And right in the corner, yep. maybe, if it's on there. And but then anyways, you just you type in where you're looking for, you're say, 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 say Chicago. And uh, let's see if there's any walks in Chicago. So we'll say Chicago. And uh, yes, there are, uh, there are a few. There are yeah. four walks in Chicago, and whoa, one of them whoa. is led by me. Whoa. And then we're going to say... Which one are you doing? Let's I'm doing see. one in Chicago. It's downtown. It's not Reflections of the Light in Luke. Chicago, Chicago down, downtown, downtown with Scott. Scott. Yeah. yeah. But let's see. Cool. We, they can't see your computer, uh, Eric, uh, because you uh, have an NDI. Yeah, I did. I don't I did. Know. I NDI. They're having problems with the, the, the feedback. But anyways, the currently you have a wait list of 18 people. Yeah, I do have a wait list. But that's okay. But yeah. there's a, tons of other uh, walks in Chicago that you can yep. go to. Okay, Jason's got it. All right. Yeah. So, so anyway, go. that's uh, that's coming up this Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun, and mm -hmm. I hope you will join us. It's free, and tell your friends. And you'll you basically what you do is you walk for two hours, at a leisurely play, pe pace in your city. You take pictures, and you usually wind up at like a bar or restaurant at the end. You meet some new people. You hang out. There's there's no training. It's not a teaching thing. It is a social thing. It's a social photography event. But it has a good. It's good. It's got a good reason too. Oh, yeah, and it has a social yeah. reason behind it, which is to support the Springs of Hope Orphanage. It's free to walk. It's all free. But if you can, just $1 donation to the Springs of Hope would be awesome. There's a little donate button right there on the page. And even if you're not walking, you can still donate. Yeah, yeah. people donate. And there's yeah. people that donate a dollar. There's people that don't donate anything. And there's people that donate $100. So, but the spring, oh, yeah. and, and there's the walk shirt. You can buy the official walk shirt. I think this, walk, this year's walk shirt, somebody said to me the other day, are the best ones yet. Yes. We've got now, really cool walk if shirts. If you're ordering your walk shirt at this point, you're probably going to have it as a commemorative shirt. Yes, it will be a commemorative <laughs> shirt to remember your great walk. But, but still buy it. It doesn't matter. All the proceeds. All 100%. the proceeds. Right, 100% of, of, of all, the, of all orphans. the profits go to the Springs of Hope Orphanage. So when you buy the shirt, you know I'm helping orphans. How could that be a bad thing? All right, you ready to look at some websites? Yes. Eric, at the timer, yes. we're doing three minutes. Yes. And this is our first one. Her. Which is Manuel Andres Torres, photographer. So, uh, yeah. and again, what we are looking at is we're not critiquing the photos. Well, we might critique a photo or two, but we're really here to right. to look at their website and see if it's effective and is you know are are you showing your stuff pretty well and all. Okay. All right. So uh, I I do like the um, the large size of the yeah, photos big here. Images. Yeah. Big images are like big. That. The only thing is. Like I'm on a 15 inch monitor, right? So I'm on a 15 inch laptop. And look, it doesn't show the whole thing. Like the whole, you have to scroll. Oh, just slightly. And that's, you shouldn't really have to on this large of a monitor. You shouldn't have to scroll. That's a minor thing, but I would, I think I would. Uh, the only I way to avoid that is to hit the, the green thing and get rid of the yeah. bar at the top, but then right, that's but another then, step, yeah, right? Yeah. And you have you don't want to have people do that. No, you don't want to do that. And I would say the photos are very nice, just, mm -hmm. just as, as a general thing. So that's good. You have big. Now you do have, and it's kind of got a Ken Burns effect. You're kind of zooming yep. it close. I like you know that. what? I, I normally don't like slideshows on the first page, but this one is so subtle. It's because it's subtle. It's People very, make it move too fast, yeah, it's or they very make subtle it like kind of like and I like ADD. It. And I like it. And you have a little bit of text here. The only thing I would say here, this is going to sound really silly, but you you have a long paragraph of text, and it is centered which, believe it or not, just makes it harder for people to read. Just left justify both of those, the about and the contact us. Um, well, yeah, it doesn't feel balanced then, it's, too. That's your yeah. graphic designer coming out. That's, yeah. Well, this is about the design. Well, it's right, like exactly. it's, you've got three columns there, but then one column's really short, too. And you know, this is kind of nice. From the, they've got from the blog with pictures from different weddings and stuff, so this is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. That is cool. And then, uh, and so down here you left justified, and that looks good. And that's all right. And everything's kind of on nice and one page. And there's a little thank you from a bride and groom and an inquiry page. It's all right here on the front. This is actually a pretty functional, good. I think we're off to a good start. So, Manuel, nice job. And uh, 
All right, well, think, and then what, what about the other pages? So we've got, we oh, navigate we have a portfolio. away to portfolios. Yeah, weddings, headshots, family, personal work, so. Now my thing would be on the portfolio. May not be the fastest loading site we've ever been to, but that could also be so on. So obviously you're, you're selling, oh, nice. you're, you're doing weddings, families, and portrait work. Yeah. What is the personal work? I don't know, but you know what? Uh, on this inside page here, mm -hmm. I would, so this is just individual photos, right? And you mm -hmm. have to click on them, then you can click through. Yep, yep. I don't, I'm not, I'm not crazy about this interior. I was happy with the front page, but I would either go with this style or just go with this. But when I click well, into- I think you click into those, you're gonna get into another gallery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure if you wanna go through all that. Well, and like then that two one, formats that there. one's like, blank. No, there's probably something there. Well, oh, it's just taking forever to load. That is our, oops, we're out yeah, of time. Yeah, we're out of time. You're having to, I, I would just rethink about how, how far people have to dig to get into your site, but, mm -hmm. but pretty good overall. Well, and there's a lot of images there. I think you could even trim it down even further. Yeah. All right, let's look at this next one. Definitely Looks like a smug mug site. Smug mug site, says it up there. So, um, all right, and it says Diviney Designs. And, uh, cool oh, this stuff. is pretty cool stuff, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Really cool stuff. Wow, good Photoshop work, holy cow. All right, so we'll just start at the top. Number one, get rid of the Smug Mug. There's a little checkbox on Smug Mug. Yep. Not get rid of Smug Mug, get rid of the words <laughs> Smug Mug. I like uh, Smug Mug. Um, I got another one is, you know, you've got that Divine Designs LLC and you're obviously very good at, at Photoshop and you're very good at design. Do a logo. Yeah, you just wrote your name with text. Yeah, right. don't do that. Yeah. I mean, you're good. You know, don't don't sell yourself short there. I don't even know. You, I don't even think you need the Divinity? LLC on there. Could just, be the, yeah. You can yeah. leave off the LLC too. Yeah. That's like not helping. Well, but anybody. just putting a logo. Yeah, something uh, Divine yeah. Designs like a logo. Yeah. Now the other thing is you've got a lot of great work, but you but you've got way too much of it. Mm -hmm. So. Ideally, you'd want to show maybe 18, 20 pieces at a maximum 24. You, you're showing like 40, 50, you know, pick your best stuff, uh, pick your best 20. And then whatever your best 20 is, is going to show your best 20 shots. I don't know if it's this collection of skulls twice is really helping you a whole well, yeah, bunch. Yeah, if you want to do the skulls, do one. Or if you want to do yeah. the, this, this guy here, yeah, you, either. Yeah, you don't do, need to do, do one. Yeah, pick one. But I mean, your Photoshop work is great, but I think your site needs does need a little bit of work. Isn't that the hardest well, thing though? Is narrowing down your own work? Yeah, but it's part of it's part of the I know whole it's thing, part of right? It, but it's so kind hard. of a big so, yeah. part of so our job. So just figure it this way, and this is what I would say. So let's say that you have forty images here, right? They're, they're not all forty five star images, right? They're not all your best mm -hmm. image. So let's say that you went through and say, I'm, I'm going to pick my best twenty. Well, that means that your other twenty were your second best why would you show your second best images? Why would you show images that aren't your very best ones? Now, you may not feel like, I just can't pick it. I just can't get it down mm -hmm. to 20. Then you're gonna need to ask friends and family to help, help you get to that 20. Uh, honestly, it's kind of nice sometimes. You're not gonna be selling your work to other Photoshop experts. Right. Because, mm -hmm. sure. right. right. So maybe you're trying to, to get work from somebody. Maybe you're trying to hit agencies or advertising people. I, I don't know who your market is, so it's, it's hard for me to tell. So we're going to take off that top, but what does home browse and search do? Uh, what does browse do? Let's see. Browse is different, different galleries. Different galleries. Yeah. And then what does search do? And search is, I guess, if you search know what you're looking for. So what do you think? M making that galleries instead of browse? So let's yes. search for something. Yeah. Pizza. Well, yeah, it's just, I, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I'm not even sure if you need uh, the search. I, I would get rid of the search. And I'm not, yeah. I mean, you might just with the browse make that like galleries or portfolios. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Let's reimagine this site. How's the timer doing? Uh, four, three. All right. Two. Just let me just say this. <laughs> reimagine this site with one of your amazing pictures big. Like yes. the first thing you see is like a wow. Because look how tiny your things are. They're just some of these are postage stamp size. Yeah. What if you took one of these really crazy images and you got there and that's the first thing I saw, like on the, on the wedding one mm -hmm. we just saw mm -hmm. where the images are big and bold. So anyway, that's the, I, I, would, I would rework yeah, this Yeah, maybe land thing. them on big images, then let them go into smaller galleries. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, these are like posters. They need yeah. to be seen right. big. They need big. I agree. Big, yep. big. Cool. All right. Cool. Okay. 
Next one, uh, this one looks like just a blog, so it doesn't really look like a photography website. Yeah, yeah you got music collection and stuff. We're gonna we're gonna roll on. This isn't really. I haven't looked at any of these yet, so I don't know. But this doesn't really seem like a. It's it's it looks like it's just a blog. A, a blog. Mm -hmm. Travel it says blog. Travel for photographers, but it just kind of looks like a blog, and it's not a terrible blog. But you know what? It, this is kind of a boring blog theme. Go to. Oh come on! Go to Theme Forest. Well, if you're going to be WordPress blog or something like that, yeah, yeah. theme for us. Go to, or just go to, just type in WordPress themes, and you can find some great themes. No, theme for us is great. Yeah, theme, theme for us, there's, there's a number of them that are really yeah. good out there. But go buy a $17 thing, and you'll be so much better off. And you won't have these little tiny pictures, and so it'll, it'll be a lot better. I would, I would go there, start there, it's, it's time for a new one. This thing... I mean, you have a travel one, but nothing really about looks it dated. says. Yeah, it looks really old school. Looks dated. Yeah, let's roll on. All right. Okay, hit the timer. Yep. All right. All right. Ooh, I like this one already. Big picture? All right, big yeah. picture. All right, you're big. always going to get Scott when you have a big picture big, well, on your homepage. Because yes. it has impact. impact. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and when you go to somebody's and you're already like, ooh, I like it, like when the, that you've already won me over. I'm already yep, yep. predisposed to liking you. So if we scroll down, there's nothing, but we can click anywhere. I, I would say this. I just, I've been on so many sites that I recognize that you could click and go anywhere. I would much prefer to see little arrows where to click. Because I don't want to sit here with, with my cursor down to the side going, where do I click? How do I go forward? You do just click on it and it moves. But I, need, an need arrow an on, on, on either okay. side would yes. be. But these are great. First off, they're great photos. Really That's good photographer. Really cool. Loving your stuff. So... I like the photos a lot. Wow, look at that. Wow. That's a good one. I think that was fake though. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say this one. I think it's very clever, but I'm gonna say you did not catch that ball and that the that the the picture is that far out of. I'm gonna say that that was done in post. In which case, good on you. I'm gonna say the whole picture was the F11. <laughs> <laughs> but but either way. Oh, and then when you finally click in, it goes, this is good, this is good. Too many photos. Way, way, way too many photos. Get it down to your best ones, because look, down at the bottom here, guess what? Pictures that aren't as great. Look, just a guy by the well, twisty freeze, well, come on. We're definitely gonna get into that, because if you look to the left, it's just like a big old, yeah, all this stuff. Right, but you got a guy running by the twisty freeze. But so now look, I want a twisty freeze. But, but this isn't one of your best shots, it's okay. But I mean, it's like not a super action shot. It looks like, is he just jogging the bases? Did, you know. But what is he doing? Because well, so on, the, on the, well, no, on the left, you got critters, travel, wedding. You, you really landed us on sports because I think that's really where you're zoned into. Yeah. So sports definitely should be at the top then. Yeah. Unless you're, you're doing other stuff. These are nice. These are very nice. You're stuff. a really good photographer. Yeah, great photographer. And your site is really close. There's just, I'm overwhelmed with what's here. I'm not sure what kind of photographer you are. Your sports is buried down here. But and isn't that where we landed? These, yeah, we did land there. That, that was the opening. If you go well, to his. Kind of thought he was best at sports at first until I started seeing some of the other stuff. No, See, well, he's it, really yeah, good. good. Yeah, but it landed you at sports and then it also has the thing all expanded. It's almost like if sports was just one thing and there wasn't all that stuff on the left. Right. Yeah, I think you just I think you need to make some decisions, Dave. You you've got yeah. a really good site, so we like the site. The site's good. You're a great photographer. Yeah. Great photographer. Just a little overwhelming. A little overwhelming. I like yes. there's so much here that I don't even want to look through it all. I'm kind of like, eh, you know, it's just boy, this, I tell you what, this when is, it comes to these portfolios, less is more. This is where the whole thing of like what Stella does and all that of of really calling down that work to those 20, 30 images. Yeah. Uh, that's what's really important here. Yep. And really getting somebody to edit the portfolio down to the best images. And you even did a class on that. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm digging these. Yeah. Great photographer. Great. It's just way too much so stuff. So we just said we weren't going to look, and then we, we continue. Yeah. And getting, you know you can't what? Stop, but, right? but, and the, and the further done, you get into it, time. you notice his best stuff is first. And then as you get down, yeah. you start getting to the yep. lesser and lesser stuff. Why, why have the lesser stuff at all? I'd, I'd rather mm -hmm. see 15 of your best photos than 15 of your best then 15 more of your second best, then your third best, and then ones you shouldn't show anybody. Just show me the best ones. But still, right. you, your site design, money. Well, before we go on, we Good do stuff, have to Dave. take a break.
All right. We definitely have to take a break. After the break, one. we're going to do some yep. shout outs because we have people from all over the world saying hi to us today. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look at a whole bunch more images. And, uh, and Jeff's here, so I'm there's here. that. Yeah. He's right here. I'm not going anywhere. That's I'll not be back. Anywhere. He's right After there. After the break. Yeah, that's him. Here, cheers. Hey, Kelby One members, Eric Kuna here. Join me for my new class, Demystifying Milky Way Photography. We're gonna go over the Milky Way settings you need to be able to get started. We're gonna go over the gear, we're gonna go over the apps, and then we're gonna actually go out and shoot the Milky Way. We're gonna do a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different settings, so you can kind of put this all together and start mastering Milky Way photography today. Join me on my new class at kelbyone.com. When you need a tripod that is compact, that is portable enough to take with you anywhere, one that is adaptable to any situation, that will prove versatile enough for any shoot, and is compatible with your other gear, giving you freedom to create your own perspective. Look no further, Platypod Ultra does it all. Visit platypod.com for more info. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by B&H Photo, the professional source since 1973. Hey, everybody, we are back. Scott Kelby here with Eric Kuna. Jeff Leinbach is with us. And we got and, a bunch uh, of people around the world with us. We got us. a bunch of people yeah. around the world with us. And yeah. uh, hey, I just want to mention before we jump into that, two things. Number one, uh, I, later this month, I'm going to be in Dallas and in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. So with my uh, ultimate photography crash course, uh, I got to tell you, you know, I've been doing seminars since 1993. I'm getting some of the best feedback on this seminar of any seminar I've ever done. So uh, if you want to come out, I would love to have you. We're going to be in Arlington on October 17th. And then right after that, we're going to be in uh, Richmond. So come on out. And I need you to come out in Richmond. Here's why. Because usually the night before in Richmond, my buddy Jeff Ravel and I go to Guitar Center and Sam Ash, which are right there in Richmond across the street from each other. Even the same parking lot, my two favorite guitar stores. And uh, Jeff will not. Jeff is going to, ready? He's going to hike the Himalayas. Yeah. Really? He is literally yeah. hiking the Himalayas, so I won't have a buddy to hang out with, so I need friends to come to Richmond on Monday, October 21st. Register today at Kelby One Live. So that's it, Kelby One Live, whether you want to come to Dallas or Richmond. And I'm going all over. I mean, you know, by the end of the year, I'll have been to all kinds of places. Oh, you yeah. don't need to really buy a ticket right there. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Who's buying a ticket? Well, let's Next. buy a ticket. <laughs> Next. So Jeff is here, and Jeff is a Kelby One instructor, and Jeff mm -hmm. has a class. I remember where we were where Jeff told me about his idea for this, and I said, dude, you got to do a class on this, and you came and did it. Can you tell us about the class? Sure. It's called What to Shoot When There's Nothing to Shoot. 
Um, it's basically a class you've probably, a type of class that you've never seen before. It um, basically dives into just ideas. Uh, it's not about, uh, you know, it's not about how to shoot. It's more like what to shoot. So uh, it all derived from um, a trip that I had taken. I was uh, guiding a couple um, on a private uh, tour of the Southwest to, to photograph some iconic sites and um, we ran into a blizzard and we could shoot nothing that we intended to shoot. Oh, wow. So basically for uh, a week I had to try to come up with ways uh, to shoot and things to shoot to, uh, you know, to keep them happy and, and all of this kind of spun from that. So it's, it's an interesting class. I, I get a lot of good feedback from it and... Uh, and I, I don't want to tell good. you, I don't want to spoil it and say what some of the things are, but when Jeff told me them, I'm like, that is just so clever. Like, I would never have thought of these things, and they're, they're brilliant. So go watch Jeff's class. It's an awesome class. Jeff's an awesome person, as you know already. And so go see it. Go right. get, check it out. And it, uh, we're, we're excited to have that on there. Thank right. you. Appreciate the shout For out. doing that. Yeah. All right. So uh, two things from Mr. Kuna. Hey, can we see one of your... So Eric just did a Milky Way shot the other yeah, night. Yeah, I did. He went, did. and he wanted to do a shot of his Tesla with the uh, with the Milky Way behind it, and he used the Photo Pills app. Got to plug his yeah, class. Yeah, Photo Eric did a pills. class on the Photo Pills. Oh my gosh, people love his Photo Pills class, and he uses Photo Pills to be able to precisely know exactly where to park his car, where the Milky Way would be directly behind it. Yep. And uh, so that's his shot out on location of his Tesla. I know I read where you were at this because we live yeah, in Florida. Florida. You know, the, so, the Milky Way is not the best in Florida. We know that. For you the know, atmosphere, actually, but these are killer. Actually, it just matters. You've really got to get to studying it. And that's where we did that other class on the Milky Way. I mean, there's tons of places. Obviously, on the East Coast, we kind of feel like, oh, we can't get out to shoot the Milky Way. You just mm -hmm. kind of find these pockets that you can do it. And there's tons there's of places no in Florida. Pollution. I mean, that's, that's amazing. From this studio right here, that's only that's less than three hours away by car. So where where so was it exactly? It was up in the it was up near Perry, Florida. You oh, have a Perry, big okay. bend yeah. area right yep. there. Isn't there a and nice you, prison up there? there big is, prison. Right? That's dark. Mm, no, yeah, that's <laughs> another direction. But yeah, we got a bunch of prisons there, here in Florida. <laughs> you heard of the Florida man? Yeah, we got a bunch of prisons here. But all Sparky's no. up at Star. Yeah, you just gotta find those. You gotta find those pockets. Pockets of light. But that's where we go over in the class. We knew this time of year. I'm shooting over the Gulf of Mexico there. So that's the okay. Gulf of Mexico right. behind me. Right. So you've got 1,600 miles until Mexico. I would say this too also. Wow. When you're in North Florida and you're shooting the Milky Way, don't pick up hitchhikers. <laughs> oh, please. It wasn't bad. If they're we wearing were. an orange jumpsuit, <laughs> if they were an orange don't pick jumpsuit. up hitchhikers. It's Just a general bad. rule in Florida. That's like outside no. of Vegas. They got all those signs. Don't pick up hitchhikers. Don't prison area. Prison, yeah, don't prison do it. area. Don't do it. All right. Who are our shout outs from today? Yeah, we got tons of people. So we got Catbo saying hi from Idaho. Catbo from we, Idaho. Uh, we got N. Robbins Photo saying they're hey. pushing 100 right now in Alabama. Wow. Roll I think time. a lot of people are talking about the heat. Because we got Nina Glad hey, from hey, a hot By the way, real quick, he's mentioning Alabama. What's, yep. what's the number one ranked college football team? Oh, University of Alabama again? Did somebody have some, a son it. that graduated from there or something? Hashtag yeah, yeah. Roll Tide. Hashtag. Yeah. Now yeah. you can go on. <laughs> roll tide. Hashtag gloating. Uh, all right. Hashtag. So uh, we got Damien saying hi from Essex, UK. Essex, we got uh, Rudy saying hi from Austria. Hey, Rudy. And then we got, oof, I don't know. You get, take that one. What do you think? Kajak. Kajak? Yeah, Kajak. Yeah, Kajak, Kajak. saying yeah. hi from uh, Armenia. Yeah, Armenia. We got Armenia in the house. Esther from San Francisco. We were just yeah, talking, just about, talking about, about San Francisco. Fran. Yeah. We got Travis from Germany. Love Elizabeth Germany. from uh, Colorado Springs. We got Becky G saying congratulations, congratulations to the 400th episode. Deb, too, saying hi, congratulations Deb. on the 400th. Piotr saying Piotr. Hi, uh, hi on the 400th. Congratulations on the 400th. We got Kent. From Indianapolis. Now that's the mysterious Indianapolis. Anyways, we got a bunch of people joining yeah. us. So, yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for all your nice comments. Hey, Trisha says, we got to read this one. Yeah, she says, Hi, Trisha. Loves your landscape book. Uh, it helped me on a recent, recent trip to Lake Tahoe. All right. Hi, Trish. Yeah, yeah. Great. Shout out to Trish. <laughs> yep. And then let's see, we got a couple questions here. Um, uh, Sherry's sure. asking, hey guys, I'm so excited that I'm going to Greece in early November. Any recommendations? Yes. I've never been, so that's you. I've been to Greece many times. I worked in Greece. I actually worked on the island of Corfu. And mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I love Greece. 
Uh, the Greek people are awesome. The Greek food is awesome. Greece is a great place to photograph. Uh, what I would say is, if you can get to the Greek islands, and you can fly there easily from Athens. So from Athens, you can fly to all the Greek islands. Uh, mm -hmm. If there was one Greek island I would go to, Santorini. Yes, you've Santorini talked about that many, many times. Santorini is just a photographer's paradise. Uh, really, really great. But all, I mean, honestly, all of the Greek islands are very interesting. But I, I've been to a lot of them. I, I, I did a cruise that stopped at like every one for a day, so I, I kind of got a little taste of all of them. But I, I tell you, Santorini is just magical, and they have the neatest hotels anywhere. So if you're going to be there, uh, you know, Athens is like any big city. It's like Rome or anything. It's very big, congested, you know, and you'll see ruins, but the ruins mm -hmm. are surrounded. It's very hard to shoot the ruins because they're surrounded by buildings and right. scaffolding and all that kind of stuff. So, but... Um, You'll have a great time. Greece is, is awesome. But if you can get out to the islands, you will not regret it. So I'm very, uh, yeah, very out jealous. There. Out there, Santorini. Very jealous uh, because you, you're, you're going to be in an awesome area. And you'll love the Greek people. There Greek you go. Greek people rule. So Jock's Photo is asking, too, uh, if I have a fine art type website to sell prints, how many pics should you have per category? Jock, I would say go with very few prints. Go with only maybe five, six prints in each category, and you will probably make most of your money, and I've learned this from, from doing interviews with people about selling prints and stuff, when you release a new print. So when you actually do release a, a new print, um, that's when you're gonna, you know, you're mm -hmm. gonna go out to your mailing list and go, hey everybody, I just released a new print, go check it out. Don't put up 20 prints or 30 prints. I would say keep it really small, and that's the best advice I've gotten from, from folks is, is keep your, get that stuff small. Well, and that's going to be a recurring, that's always a recurring pattern with even just your overall website, keeping it as small yep. as you can, yep. uh, as compact as yep. you can. Hey, Mac says, uh, Max, hi, Mac, how you doing? So Mac was in my uh, workshop in, in mm -hmm. uh, Paris, I want to say France, in Paris, and she's awesome. She says, uh, Scott, when do we get to see your pictures from China? So I'm going to do a webcast next week, right? Mm -hmm. I'm doing a webcast next week, and I'm working on my Spark page. In fact, I was showing Eric my Spark page under construction. I, yeah, I'll, I'll, show you under one construction. Photo. I'll show you one or two photos that I'm working on. Give me a second to find it here. Uh, let me hang tight. All right, well, here's one. So this is, I, I had to climb up 700 stairs in the world's hottest, it was counting hot. Counting them all the way up. Counting them all and crying. It was, it was, it, it took me forever to get up there. I, it about killed me. Uh, 700, and it's not 700 steps at the Marriott with carpet and all 700 cut out of stone and there's no in railing the humidity. and the, the humidity, it was Africa hot. So I had to do it twice. Now, so what was worse, this walk up these steps or the walk out to the wave for you? The walk in the wave, I was fine all the way till I got there. And then I got there, I was wiped out and I had to sit down for like 15 minutes. All right. Fair so enough. it's just different. Gotcha. Going back, I almost died from the wave. We'll say the wave. <laughs> we'll say the wave was worse. Okay. All right. I but, uh, but listen to this. So we climbed up here, right? And then... Um, and then, so I did this, this on one day. Then we went back two days later. I'm with Rick Salmon, my buddy Rick. And so we're there with them, and it was great. And then we went to another 500 step one, and then I had to leave a couple of days before everybody else left. So I left two days early. Rick wrote me back and said, you're lucky you left when you did, because right when I left, they did, not only did they do a thousand stair climb, but Rick wound up in a wheelchair. What? Rick wound up in a wheelchair for like three days from making that climb. Wow. He, he, he just pulled something or did something and he was trashed. He said it was like incredibly hard and it's, it's just, and it was hard on, on everybody. So anyway, that all being said, I have so much to tell you about this trip. I can't do it today because we gotta look at some more images, but, but there's so much um, that I could tell you about this trip because so many interesting things happened and interesting story. So I'm going to share all this in a webcast. Yep. It's really about shooting in rural locations. Like we were not in cities. We were kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So I want to talk about, about packing, how to, how to get there, and how to travel light in these places. The people. Yeah. Shooting with people. Uh, shooting where you don't know the language and stuff. Now we, I got to tell you, we did have two incredible guides. I'll talk more about them 
uh, next week. I'll talk about them here on the grid and all. But I want to get this webcast out first for our members. Okay. So it's a members only webcast. It's about shooting in rural locations, and I'm going to be talking a lot about this. And I have so many stories, but I just I don't have it. Can't do them today. So George is asking, did you get the RF 15 to 35 yet? I I have not. I'll show one more picture. Here's one more picture here. Yeah, no, I've not. I have not gotten the, and I haven't even ordered it yet, George. I'm going to. I, I know it's supposed to probably ship like now. Well, Jeff, you would no, know. No, no, no. You don't know? Come on. You have no idea? I have it's no supposed idea. to ship right now. All right, yes. well, let me go to B&H. <laughs> well, and we'll go to B&H and figure it out. Let's go to B&H. I know the Canon guy doesn't want to commit to anything. All right, Canon 15 to 35. There it is. Let's see what the deal is here. Uh... Add to cart. Add to cart. It's shipping. In it's shipping in, in stock, stock and ready to go. You know why it's in stock? Because it's, it's twenty two ninety nine. Holy cur I mean, that's a <laughs> wow. lot of money. So yeah, there's uh that's it. And and oh, do you have to buy the you're spending twenty two oh, ninety nine goodness. and you have to buy the freaking you gotta lens. Be kidding me. Come on. What the crap? And, and here's the joke. The lens hood isn't even out yet. They the the they couldn't make the lens hood, but they could make the lens. Come on, Canon. Let's just move on. Come on. Let's just move just... on. All right. Come on. Back to our story. Well, now we've, we've messed come around on. so much, we have to take a break. Yeah, we've got to take a break now. When we come back, we're not even going to talk about anything <laughs> else. We're just going to look. Stop it, Eric. All right. Calm down, Eric. All right. We're good. you got to stop. <laughs> we're coming back, I'm pretty sure. We'll be here. Yep. <laughs> Hi there, Kelby One members. Corey Barker here with Master Effects Training, and I'm very excited to announce that I'm gonna be bringing some of my exclusive Master Effects Training content to the Kelby One library. I'm very excited about this because we are gonna be exploring things like 3D effects, compositing effects, and other special effects, giving you an arsenal of creative techniques that you can utilize in your own work, taking it to the next level. So I hope you'll join me in checking out my newest projects here at KelbyOne.com. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon.
Make sure you don't miss any episodes of The Grid by subscribing to Apple's podcast app or iTunes. It's free, and we even have a special audio-only version, too. So sign up today. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey. Yeah, whoa, hey. Hey, we got hey. correction. We correction. had a correction. Correction. Hold the phone. It does come with a lens it hood. It comes with a Thank lens hood. Thank goodness. Because I was about look. to have a heart attack. It says attack. in the box... Yes. Yeah. So to yeah, the twenty three hundred dollars, exactly. and you're not going to put the lens so hood in there. So typically, your your L lenses are going to come with one. Your non L lenses will not come with right. one. Right. So yes. yeah. Oh. So look, where's it says in the box? It does. Here. It does. We went. We looked. We looked. It, said it was down on the specs. I th you think you got to go up. Oh, up. I think you got to go to the overview. Was it overview or it says well, yes, oh, here in, in the, the box. box? And there, there it is. The E W. Maybe feel so much better. I was yeah. like, no way. I was going to say, do we have to buy a lens no cap, too? Way. No No, Okay. All right, there. good. All right. Hey, look, there's Rudy. Rudy, shut up. Okay. <laughs> but, but we were looking at the reviews, and everybody's like super yeah. sharp, Oh, people super are sharp. like super sharp, super sharp, no chromatic aberrations, nothing. It's all good. All right. Yep. Let's look at some websites, people. Come on. Let's look at some websites. Here we are at Rotna's. Rotna's. Photography. And uh, let's see. So, okay, that's just, that's the whole home page. So there's a portfolio and, all right, so we've got portrait, kids, Bruloft, <laughs> wedding. I'm going to think that's language, wedding. Yeah. Language, yeah, yes. No, no, it's not a language thing. I yes. speak perfect German. Yes. All right, not really. Let's look at the portraits. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, you can't go that's big. That's it. You can't uh, go big. Oh. Uh, oh. Cardinal rule. Oh, no. Got to go big. Yeah. All right. So here's what I would say to, to Ratna is let, let's get some bigger pictures. Just I, I think it's fine to go to your portfolio page and you have these three small headers, but when you click them, I should go and see, like it should pop up and there should be big pictures there, not these little tiny these are just way too small. Um, and, and your homepage, I think, could also be a lot more dynamic. It's like me seeing a picture of your camera does not inspire me. I would rather see one of your great pictures. Mm -hmm. Like I see something like, ooh, this is a photographer I want to hire. Seeing a picture of your camera does not make me want to do anything. Mm -hmm. So your whole homepage doesn't really tell me anything as far as about you photographically other than you own a camera and you're willing to lay on the ground so which is great i don't know what you're and shooting. you point your flash up and you point your flash up so that's good too she's yeah. bouncing but anyway yeah i don't know stuff. what she's bouncing on outside yeah, she's, she's bouncing, bouncing off, off the, the grass leaves. anyway but yeah i, I want to see an inspirational shot i want to see it bigger i think it's time to find a new template for you so but uh, your your photography looks nice just it sure would like to see it bigger all right so we're rolling off of that yep all right let's see what's next how about carrie sikorsky all right. So Carrie has two 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 things: enter site or blog. All well, right. I, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Okay. okay, Carrie. Why can't I just enter your site and then I can decide if I want your blog? Why do you make? Why are you putting yeah, up a the doorway? Blog, the blog's just the thing inside. The once you get inside. Yeah. Put me right in the site. Right. No click. Yeah. I shouldn't have to click here or anything. So when I go to your page. Yeah, right up here. There's blog. Yeah, Done. yeah there, it is. there it is. Done. It's this is what I corner. should see when I go to your photography page. That should be the home page. And if you go, well, what about people who want to go to my blog? Then they'll bookmark your blog. Yes. And they'll bypass this. And yes. you have nice pictures. But yeah. And take them right there. This isn't bad down here. You've got 32 pictures, which is a lot. I would knock about 10 off. But once, once, once we're here, this is fine. You got to get rid of that first page. That first page, putting a door for me to get in is just is not good. But once you get there, I'm okay with this. You can so scroll the, through and you see page. one you like and all. And they're nice big pictures. So I I, I think you're you would go okay. What there. about so where what else would you, you go? go? Portfolio. Yeah, that's let's what go I'm to saying. portfolio. I think we're actually on the portfolio right now. Yeah, I think okay. we are yes. on the portfolio. Gotcha. Okay. So then if you go about me, it's going to be the about me. Yeah. And your blog and stuff. Okay. Investments. Yep. Am I going to do just, like a that, no, financial? No, that's going to sell you on why it's, it's yeah. a good deal to, yeah. to hire her. Okay. So anyway, Carrie, I like your site. If you get rid of that first page, I think you're in good shape. All right. Let's move on. We've got Dio Dionysus. Oh, I hope I'm saying that right. Dionysus. Well, it's already 
big picture. I do like big picture, but you know what? It's that same thing where this is, why can't this be the be first the, page? The, we'll hit view gallery. Let's see where we go. Yep. Oh, there's just two galleries, Adobe stock. Okay. And then and Scotland. Scotland. So is there not like oh, a portfolio? All right, oh, store, that services, okay, that's workshops. All. Huh. We're kind of confused on what you do. There's only five shots. I mean, they're nice, good, good shots. Yeah, good shots. You got better it? puffing shots than I got, I can tell you. And I do love the Scottish Highlands. But is that it? It's Scotland. Well, try the Adobe Stock These one. These are nice shots. Well, the Adobe stock, I think, is just pictures they put on Adobe stock that you could go buy. Oh, yeah. We'll or, try or, it. Or, or, uh... There's one. There's just one? This is the thing of there's probably not enough pictures. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's, that rarely happens. Well, as workshops, services, store galleries. Maybe there's something here. Oh, no, it's no. back to these there. two. Yeah, back yeah. to these two. Just so, not enough content. Yeah, I would get rid of the whole Adobe stock thing. Well, because, yeah, because my question, too, right. is if you got services and you got a workshop and events, yeah. and we only have six photos. Yeah, you only have six photos and you only have one of uh, Adobe stock. And look, you know, you know and I know what you make off of one photo on Adobe stock. It's not worth ruining your site for the $5 you're going to make off of selling 10 photos. So I would, I would, I would get... Uh, I would get rid of that. Just open up with that nice big in, page yeah. and roll in. So basically take that big home page and put it here where I can get right to all the stuff and get rid of the Adobe stock thing. All right, let's move, cool. on. Let's move on. All right, here we go, SN Captures. If a picture is worth a thousand words, let me share my novel with you. All, all right. right, so we do portraits, children, family, lifestyle, all that stuff, let's look at portraits. I can't click on it. I can't click on any of them. She's telling you what she does. Go to portfolio. Yeah. That's weird because okay. a list. Okay, yeah. So yeah. if you okay. go to the list, All right. go back to the home page. Right. Let's go yeah. back. If that's yeah. a list, I'm You can't thinking, do that on the mm -hmm. web because yeah. then that should all be clickable. Yep. If you're going to list stuff on the web, it's got to be clickable. clickable. Yeah, and it's, it's web text. Make them all clickable. And then there you go. So now i got to click on portfolio. Not terrible a number of images. What do we got? 24? Yeah, awful small though. They're a bit small, but then if they you click, big. they make big. Can, can, can I click through And then through you got it? the arrows, so there you go. All right, I like the arrows. And you don't actually have to click you the arrows. Sweep. You just have to go to the right side. I like the simplicity of it. Yeah, you don't have to go I, digging not, around a whole lot. I'm not crazy about, you know what? If you go back to Carrie's website where she had the big picture and then the list of thumbnails, mm -hmm. I that like that better. much better than what you have here, which is all small pictures. Right. Carrie's, if you remember just a moment ago, had the big picture, but with the row under with the thumbnails, I think that's a, a better way to do it. Well, I got another weird thing. It's like the, well, well, we can go back to it or we can move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. You know why I'm scared right now? Mm. Because after this, I'm going to have to go back and reformat my entire web maybe we, maybe we should look at yours. No, yeah. we're not going to do that. But we should. Hey, can we follow you on on uh, on Instagram? Yes, please do. What are you on Instagram? J L Photographic. J L Photo. Oh, JL look how quick that oh, just there it appeared. Is. Yeah, that's amazingly look at that. fast. All right. Like he had that already. Look at that unfollow. No. Oh, oh. Don't do nice. <laughs> Wow. I know wow. where you're sitting. That sounds <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I got all kinds of stuff in there. Yep. Motorcycles, Bryce Canyon. Oh, now he yeah. likes one. It's too late. Too, too late. late for that. <laughs> too late, Jason. All right. So let's uh, jump back here to our next person, Chris right. White Photography. So Chris has a whole bunch of uh, uh, categories here, but that's okay. I like the big photos. Big photos. Start off. Big photo. This actually looks just like that other one we saw earlier. Yeah. With the sports photography. Yep. This is a nice template. It's clean. It is clean. That's Disney. Yay. Or that'd be sterile. No, nice photos. Good photographer. I like the site. Ooh, I like that. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, Tampa. 
It's great photos. I was, I was gonna say that's the Library of Congress. Yeah. I had lunch there one time. That looks like Chicago. Yeah. All right. All right, so that's very nice. Uh, and they've got different categories. categories. All right. Life, railroad. Railroad. And light painting, black and white. They got a print gallery. And does that goes over to shoot proof? So it takes you to a completely different site where you, you can buy from. And aviation. Chris, I, I, I would... I didn't know what's coming. I would get rid of that giant watermark for sure. Because look, it, it, if I want to steal this photo, I'll, I'll clone out Chris White photography. I can get rid of all that stuff in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. If I'm that big on it, but this is such a small resolution photo, I can't print it. I mean, what can I print it? The size of a postage stamp? So it's not printable. So all you're doing is making sure that every person that sees this sees a very, very ugly version of your picture. Well, especially because you're selling your work at that point. You want yeah. people to see the work how yeah, it's this intended. Is, you've got to get rid of these, these, uh, these watermarks for killing you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of the yeah, watermarks, watermarks on any of them. watermarks are bad. It just it ruins the photos. And if you want to, uh, to sell them, you, you got to get rid of these. Yeah, they're... Well, All my right. question is, if you've got the watermark on these, why didn't you have the watermark on the, on the front end? It's the same, same yeah. difference, right? I, know, I, I know think it's probably thinking, different. Because, yeah. 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 Uh, different sizes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, get rid of those. It's just killing the shots. But other, other, other than that, I think your other site where you started off was, was really pretty good. Yep. All right, let's roll on. Joanna Barsanti, or Joanne, sorry, Joanne Barsanti. Photography-based fine art. That's a very nice shot. It's beautiful. If that's photography, that's very cool. I want to go to the Delicate Beauty Collection. The only thing I would say to you, Joanne, is I have to scroll down to see those two buttons. Uh, if that was the case, because look, look at all the space you have here just for those four icons. I would move these four icons maybe over here or up there or, or any place, the bottom. And, and if you really want people to click on those two. Put those up well, now. I guess the thing would be, what do you want people to do? Do you want people to click on those buttons or click on your social? Because putting yeah. your social at the top, that's what you're wanting them to click on. If you don't want them to click on your social. These are beautiful though, right? They are. They're beautiful. Stunning. They're really nicely done. You got gorgeous work, and these are photographic based. These are beautiful. So, while your website you is not 100 percent, can you click on them and they go bigger? I hope so. Oh, no, oh yeah, okay, yes. yeah, yeah. That's cool. And then you can scroll through them. That's cool. Yep. I like these a lot. Yeah, these yeah. are these are very nice. I love these two first ones. I call it bonsai at night. Bonsai. Bonsai. What do you think about the block of text there? It's not bad. Mm -hmm. I would rather see the photos first and then scroll down to that see was, the text. That's what I was asking, yeah. And, I and, think I'd rather and, see the photos and, this and then the text. big giant thing here. You yeah. Know, look, so, your photos are going to sell. Your photos are going to sell move this them whole up, thing. Move them up, move them up. And if we go back here to your site again, like that, that's what's going to sell it is that image, you know. Yeah, so yeah. having those social move buttons, the, the social buttons up there are pushing the image down. So move the social buttons down. Yeah, move the social buttons down. You still want them on, on every page and stuff. But anyway, it's kind of nice. It, I think the site suits your images. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I'm with Eric. You got to move those down. Jeff? Mm -hmm. I agree. Yep. All photo right. first. Yep. Let's move. Oh, yeah. There's a, just photo first. Craig. Craig Byers. So, Craig, where are we at here, bro? go right into a portfolio uh, I, I would do this I would make about my photography last mm -hmm. and, and plus it's just a very very close photo and it's not sharp it's kind of pixelated and it's not an awesome way to start let's look at people it's the right amount not 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 a terrible layout and I imagine if you click on them they get bigger yeah and then if you click oh they get even bigger yeah, uh, they're going to because you're on Adobe Portfolio. Yeah. It's 
So it's going to be optimized for mobile, too. Yep. Let's go look uh, up here. Oh, oh, that was from the last one. These are interesting. Yeah, that's that's cool. pretty cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. Well, we like your photos now. But let's go look at abstracts. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely agree with you about moving that up, about my photography yeah, down, down and then moving some other stuff up. Yeah, and the other thing was, Craig, I'd pick some big thing to start with. Mm -hmm. and, and like pick a big picture up here, like a, a picture, a big picture up top, and you scroll down to these individual ones. Mm -hmm. But that impact, so mm -hmm. the, all of your pictures are really small, all the gallery pictures are small, and then I click on them. You got to go three clicks in before and, you and, see big. Right, and then it's still small again, and then I click again, and then it's big. But wouldn't you like to see this at the very beginning? This is a neat yeah. shot. I'd like to start it. You got some good stuff. Pick a really good shot to kind of. Yeah, bring them forward, get it bring there. them bigger. Kind of like uh, what we saw with the last one. Yeah. Uh, we had the big picture yep. or the sports portfolio where we had yeah. the big picture. We like that layout, don't we? With yeah, the big yeah. picture yeah, and big navigation picture. on the left. Yeah. So as soon yeah. as you came to this page, the first thing that my eye went to was his face. Yeah. And I thought that was one of his pictures. Yep. And, it, and it's not. It's, well, it's him. Well, humans, we're him. always drawn to faces, well, right? Well, right. But that's what the problem was with this one. Yeah. It went right to it. And I... I thought that's one of his images. And it... Hey, by the way, this one's not creepy at all. Mm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Natural man. Okay. All hey, right. uh, Robert Lively's got a, a comment about the watermarks we were talking about earlier. Yeah, Robert Lively's saying use metadata instead of watermarks. Yeah. So that's embed another thing. The yeah, copyright embed the copyright in information right in there. Mm -hmm. All right, Rudy. Looks like it's Rudy. We're going to go with Rudy. Oh, <laughs> Could be Valles. All yeah. right, I like the I like the pictures on the on the front. Big, bold. I like the logo. You've already got good pictures right up front, so I already know mm -hmm. you got the logo, and the logo. It doesn't. It's not so big. It gets in the way or anything. No. So I, I I I'm already off to a good start with this mm -hmm. one. I like the big. I, and um, let's go see. We have portfolio, and then I guess if you need a car, Uber. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You should have Lyft, Uber, and then Lyft next to it. Sorry, it's an American joke. Um, these aren't bad. Let's click on one. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm okay with this. When you when you go into a uh, into the portfolio, uh, you know what's nice. So you're you're a wedding photographer. You're not putting up 20 different categories. It's pretty clear you're trying to get wedding work. And you go in here and you click, and here's a bunch of wedding photos. So you can scroll through and get a real good feel for what your stuff is. You got a contact form. This is just a well done. Yeah, no, site. I, th I think definitely. Now, what does shop no. do? What does shop do? I don't know. Alvin shop there, yeah. Oh, it might be a. Oh, this might be different wedding. Like different yeah, wedding. The wedding. They're wedding locked. Party. So they have a pass got password it, got for it. the clients. Okay. All right. I like it. I think, yeah. I think it's no, one of the best ones that. of the day. You know, and then that's one of the things that from earlier that would have commented on is, you know, when you get down to it, I know what this person does. I know what they're trying to sell. A lot of the other sites, it's I like, know where to go. like you've got all this stuff listed and then you've got stuff to sell and stuff to hire you. But I'm like, well, what am, what are you selling and what are you hiring if you're doing everything? Yeah. It's you know just, what else too? This site is clean. Like the layouts are clean, mm -hmm. everything's very clean. So the 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 uh, I don't know what Uber is, but let's click on it. Uh, about him. I think it's like oh, it's about. about him. So, yeah, I, I think this is a very nicely done and and good site all the way around. Well done. Yeah, I like Three that one. Let's look at one more. Really let's like look at one, one more. Leanne Briggs. All right, so Leanne, we have two pictures: people and places. And shop. And shop, but I mean, we have a people one and a places one. It's kind of that gate page again, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think how I would handle this because. Well, go to shop. This is how I'd handle it. Go to shop. What am I shopping for? Is uh, it? So you're doing between peoples and places. So really, you haven't. You're trying to sell places, and you're well, trying to see. sell yeah, people. Well, let's see. Yeah, there's their buy. Is there a yeah, yeah, buy yeah. button? It's a smug mug portfolio. So you yeah, went from somewhere mug. to smug mug to sell your work. But that's what it is. You're kind of between like, am I selling people or am I selling places? So I think you land people. So if you go back to our homepage, 
land people um, where you want to send people. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got to go way back up in the corner. You actually, it, it opened up a new window. It's back oh, here. Okay. Oh my gosh, we left her site. Yeah. So you left the site. Oh to my go gosh, sell. and I wound up at Smug Mug. Yeah. Oh. Well, number one, you can get rid of that Smug Mug link altogether. It's not helping you. It's helping Smug Mug. Nothing against Smug Mug, of course. But let's go to people. So I, 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 no one's going to buy these pictures of other strangers. So what I imagine you're trying, you're, you've got two different things going on here. Number That's one, yeah, you, you're trying to get yeah. portrait work. Number two, you're trying to sell prints of travel. Correct. And pick which one you want to land as your homepage. Yeah, pick one or the other. That way you don't have that in-between stage. Yeah, and, and also... Like make this your homepage and then allow people to see the other stuff. They could still go yeah. up to places, but take them here or take them to the places. Yeah, th this Either is... Either take them to people and, or and take them to places. And you know what else, places. too, to Leanne? Uh, the, when you put two of something up, it's a really negative number. Yeah, like, like we like stuff in to, threes. You want three or five or one, one but three, two is instant numbers. death. Like pe people don't like two, it's just, and it doesn't look very good. Uh, I like your logo, and I like you know it's it's simple and clean, but you're you have this weird thing at the front where I don't know what to do. I, I don't know. I, I I'm with Eric. Go with one big thing. What do you think, yeah. Jeff? I agree. Yeah, one, I, one I immediately thing. thought that gate page and it it. Yeah. Uh, Got me a little yeah, off I think you just got to, which one are you more into? Is it people or places? And then take them there. Yep. And they can always go to the other one, but you're taking them where you really want them to go. All right. So we are moving on. We got a couple more yeah. uh, coming up right after the break. So stick around. All right. And we got a few more. A few more and after the break. A few more after the break. Did I mention Jeff's here? I am so excited about my new class. It's on black and white, fine art, architectural photography. And why I'm excited about it is we're going to go through the shooting. It's easy. We're going to go through the settings. It's super easy. It's the post-processing. I've got this new simplified way to do this. You're going to have this amazing final image and it's going to open up a whole new world of creativity for you because you can shoot in the middle of the afternoon, four o'clock, harsh daylight. You're going to be able to take these shots. You don't need a tilt shift. You don't need a bunch of fancy settings. You don't need a bunch of amazing Photoshop skills. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You're going to learn selections. You're going to learn shortcuts. You're going to learn some really cool tips, time saving stuff. It's packed full of all kinds of information that even if you never want to do black and white, fine art, architectural photography, you're still going to want to watch the class. So come check out my brand new class. I'm so excited to share it with you. And it's exclusively here at Kelby One Photography Training. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. Hello. Hey, hey, we're back. Hey. We're back. Scott's here. Jeffy's here. Snoop, Jeffy, Jeff. And uh, Tuna Man. Yeah. And, Tuna Man uh, on the other end. Juan's back. Good news. Juan's, Juan's back. back from his uh, bar break. Where did you go? <laughs> What'd you get? Did you get anything? Did you do shots? What? Shooters? I want to know, did you bring us anything? <laughs> he brought us nothing. He went to Dunkin' Donuts and he brought us nothing. <laughs> got some shooters. <laughs> did you do some shooters? <laughs> back with you live. Now, yep. we, we got a couple of nice comments. David Collier said, great info for redoing my website. Thanks, guys. You're very welcome, David. Rudy says, thanks for your great critiques. You are very yeah. welcome. Thank you guys for having open minds. Um, I know it's, it's not easy when someone's looking at something you've mm -hmm. put so much. It's not easy uh -oh. to put up a website unless you go to myportfolio.com, which is Adobe's free portfolio site. So if you have any kind of Adobe subscription, and I know that you do, uh, either the photography bundle or the full whatever, mm -hmm. you can go to myportfolio.com, sign in with your Adobe username and password, and they will host for free because you're already paying for it. They will host your website and they have a bunch of great looking templates. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is- And you can use your own domain. You can use your own domain. And you, you can, can actually make multiple websites. Now you have unlimited multiple yep. websites. You can do all kinds of websites. You can have one- It's really designed stores. for portfolio sites. Is right, what it's so designed you know what I would for. say for the last photographer? Um, what was her name, Leanne? Mm -hmm. I would say to Leanne, go to Adobe Portfolio, do one for your selling your travel prints and one for your people and send the right people to the right one. Great yeah. idea. All right, here we are, Kenny Kinter right. Photography. Kenny, let's take a look. I like well, it already. First, I like the big I image. I like the big image. I like this. It's and it's clean, a good image. And yeah. it's a good image. Lead I like me. it. I want to go down that path. I want to go down what that path. That You're path? leading. Where is it? What's at the end of it? Something crazy, I know. All right, 
so, right, so let's portfolio. go to portfolio and see what we got. We got landscape. Well, let's go to landscape because I think Kenny's a landscaper. I think that's probably why it's first. Let's click on it. Now this looks like another smug mug. Those look like a smug mug, but they took the bar off the top. They took the smug mug they, bar they, off. They you did the right thing. Uncheck that box. You did the right thing. And there's that picture again. All right. And what happens if you click on one? It goes, but this is like the classic that's smug the, mug layout. That's smug mug. It's a little bit of the old school smug mug. There are some newer ones. Yeah. Smug mug's been doing some good stuff lately. Yeah. But look, but here we go. This is, look at down at the bottom. You got the thumbnails at the bottom of the screen. You got the larger one at the top. So if I want to jump ahead and go, ooh, what's this? I can do it. Yeah. It's, it's interesting how it's loading, though. It is loading a little uh, bit slow. Well, that's the issue I was having earlier. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It we didn't loading. have that on the others. That's weird. It is loading a bit slow, but maybe uh, these are high res because he's selling them. But I think if it, it even does in high adaptive, res, they, 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 they optimize them. Yeah, they they optimize them yeah. automatically. Yeah. So once we get into this part, I'm not as crazy about where we started, which is this wonderful start. Ooh, look oh, a different yeah, picture. Yeah. Ooh, That's great. Interesting. Now it looks it like it falls is, apart once it, I get into it. It looks like it's a very slow running slideshow because I saw a pause button. Let's see if it changes if we wait long enough. We're going to wait another 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I was wrong. So over here, look, there's I a pause button. I think every time button. you click on it. Every but time you, you refresh or click on it. Well, it, it also could be set for like oh, a minute. It now it's set for now too it's quick. <laughs> that's me clicking. Oh, clicking. Okay. I'm yeah. clicking. Okay, I was like, yeah, that's too quick. I'm clicking. All right. All right, so... You know what it is? I really like your homepage a lot. Now, part of it is I liked your, your big photo. Your opening photo is a great photo. So that's really good. Yeah. When I click inside, it gets a little old school. You're on an old, what I would call the classic Smug Mug. Mm -hmm. I would look at some of Smug Mug's newer templates. They've got some nice stuff that I think that could help you. But uh, nice stuff. Does everything stay in Smug Mug? Like if you hit contact and about, is it all in Smug Mug? I think Mug? this whole site is probably yeah, Smug Mug. Yeah, it goes yeah, right yeah over it's to Smuggy. It. Yeah. But yeah, but, you're right. Once you get in there, it does not feel like the home page at all. Yeah, it can feel so completely then it disconnected. Feels like disconnected. Like mm -hmm. there, you have no pictures even on that contact form. Yeah, it's it's a little. Um, let's go to the about. Let's go to a boot. Hi, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Yeah. Just, also, you it, could use a you could use a paragraph break there. Yeah. It just uh, the home page feels modern. Once you click inside, it feels, feels like old. you're just going yeah. old school. Good, good point. Very good. All right, let's look at another, shall we? How about Luca Croco? Croco? Croco. Luca Croco. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll Luca? go with that. Luca, I like your big big picture. Uh, unfortunately, your size is a little big because you. I have to scroll to see your quote. I'd and like then to you see got a logo you, up there well, instead of that Well, you got something type. running over the the bottom of something else down there too. Is, yeah, is something like a like a player, like yeah, an audio player I or something. I think it is. Maybe music would be playing. Yeah, I definitely take that I, off. Uh, is there music? I don't know. Well, then we I, wouldn't be able to hear it. They'd be. A, All right. So let's go to now. Look, there's gallery, then portrait, family, event. So what is gallery? Aren't they all oh. galleries? Mm. Oh. That, that hurts. Oh. That hurts. Yeah. Oh. Like I, images over, you got stuff over top. It's just like the homepage. Uh, you got stuff over top of stuff. Yeah. And images over top of images just. It looks very, very confusing. Very consumery, too. Yeah, this looks very like or something. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. No, no. And you got some good got photos in here. It's just, yeah. It's, yeah, you got yeah, yeah, no. This is too gimmicky. Yeah, no. Oh, no. It hurts. You start over. Just scratch this whole site and start over. Well, go to portrait. See if it carries. I don't know. Every time I'm landing on something's different, there's no consistency between the pages. And it's uh, so gimmicky. It's like, yeah, and it's using a lot of like, uh, yeah, like that gimmicky trickery, yeah. kind of flashy. Yeah, it's like very consumery cheesy. It's yeah. it's distracting from the images. Yeah, big yeah, time. Very yeah. distracting. That's where images over top of images, motion over top of images, yeah. like you're saying here. It's very distracting. It's very it, you don't know where to look. 
Yeah, it's all bad. Just literally, just pick a new theme and go from there. All right, um, we got, we're going to go through one more, maybe two, yeah, but two uh, we've got some winners. So the winner of the landscape book is Joseph Bruno. Congratulations. And Robert James, you just won the Platypod Max. To right. the max. Nicely done, guys. All right, well done. All right, we got two more. So, uh, Christina, we'll, <laughs> we'll shout out to you and, and throw Maybe you. one more. Maybe one more. <laughs> Maybe one more. Ooh, now look at <laughs> this one. Look up. at this. All right, all right. There we go. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm interested. There's only one bad thing. I got to enter. Enter here. Now, I do like the big photo, but we guys, we already know you can have the big photo and you don't have to make me go to another site. Yes. You can have the yes. big photo and have me go right to where I want to go to. So this is a great photo. I love the big yeah, photo so and I like happens? the picture itself is really nice. Why yeah, can't okay. this? Okay. This so, should right. be you your home page. Enter here and then yeah. you put me to another big photo that looks almost the same. Just land you there. Mm -hmm. right. Just put me there. Take the enter here out. Yeah, take the enter here out. Start with this. This is your first page. Okay. And I can click. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. All right. And if you hit home page, does that just go back to this page here? I'll put the home page. Goes back to the gate Ooh, page. No. Oh. Yeah, oh. take that page Ooh. out. <laughs> take it that, out. That got a cat sound. Let's go to gallery. Yeah. Oh, what? so this is the gallery. Okay, so, we're okay in the gallery. scratch home page, make gallery home page. So, how do we get to more pictures? I think this is his gallery. So this is all of his so pictures right here? This is all of his pictures. How many pictures are we talking? Four, five, six, They're seven. beautiful, too. They're beautiful. Yeah. Eight, nine, nine. I know that guy. Uh, Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. I was there. Hey, you know what I did, though, with 13. my picture? I took this and flipped it and put it over that. All right. Well, that's twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, that's not the thing before, so you and I are in that. No, no, no. 15, Kyoto. 16, 16 17, 17 18, 18, 19. All right, you're starting to get to the point where you're going to need a, something on the bottom if you're going to have this many images, like 20, where you could kind of scroll quickly. 21, 22, Singapore. Yeah, I mean, you need uh, thumbnails. Shanghai, 23. You're going to need thumbnails There's unless you're going to get it down to 20. 25. If you can get 26. it down to 20, you probably wouldn't need it. You know what, though? I really like his photographs. Ooh, mm -hmm. they are good. And... I, I, I don't mind clicking through them. I, I, I've enjoyed this more than any of the other ones we've seen because all the pictures are big. Yes. I, I got to tell you, it, when, when you have one topic like this, imagine if these well, were all Well, yeah, you're wedding. right because it's we, one topic. I know what to expect. Every time you're clicking, I'm going to see an awesome Ooh, I landscape. I really like that shot. I'm going to see an awesome landscape. I'm going to see an awesome landscape. Oh, yeah, there's that. Look there where that's yeah. the yeah. kind of place I was. So every time you click, you're going to see something about the same genre that's awesome. Now, if there was like a random, like, you know, it's too, photo. It's too many photos. And that one yeah. can just go all together. Yeah, that's, that's not it. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's starting to devolve towards the end. All right, so that's in about nice. the 30s, we got to take some stuff out. How do you know if you're near the end? There, that's it's, the first back. one. We're back. Yeah, they were that's back the first to the front. Right. Gotcha. So we're so, about 40 images. So we, we got sucked in by your photos, which is great. And you know what else I love? And this is really big, that at the bottom, you're putting where it is, Marina Bay, Singapore. Yeah, now go back to that one, though. Yes. Go back. Such, such and such a fog. Go back. Was there a logo? Yes, there's a there? watermark, watermark logo that's not, that's baked uh -oh. in or something. Uh-oh. And it's cut off. That Yeah, we got to fix that. Is it? I think it's just in that one, though, isn't it? It's yeah, like not I've in this one it, at yeah. all. Yeah. It's not in that one. There's something up with that one. It's like you. Oh, there it is. there's yeah, one. There's but no, that's, that one that's fit. better. That fits. Well, yeah, that on, one that didn't fit. Yeah. Of course, you would just say lose the watermark. No, that's not really that's a watermark. That's that's branding. Yeah, that's branding. Yeah. You're okay, not putting we'll it over that. the middle of the photo and ruining well, the photo. Well, you got the branding up in the top and the bottom. So oh yeah, okay, that, that's oh, a bit yeah, much. Yeah, can't do it yeah. twice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but look at what says Grand Canal, Venice, Italy, because there's nothing worse that's than cool. looking at an amazing picture and you have no idea where it's at. You're like, where is that? I want to know, and they they don't tell you. But, so we're saying with this one, take out the home page because we don't need that interrupter. Right. That thing. Make the gallery the home page. You're fine with the number of images just cutting out some images? Yeah, I would just cut out a few, sure. Um, all right, and then what Because you know happens? what it is? Most of your pictures are really, really good, and there's a couple that are, yeah. 
So get rid of the nyan ones, and all you'd have is gray ones. I well, really and you're like right that. about the consistent theme. Nice. There's a consistent theme yeah. to them. Yep. Yeah. But I really, I like this. Like, it's, of course, you could say, well, Scott, sure, he only has one thing. He's just doing travel. It's easy to have a great website when you have one thing. Then do it. But, yeah. but even if you had, like, different things about travel, like if you had Asia and you had Europe and you had the U.S. and all, I would, you could put those up so, here. It'd be fine. It's almost like a, this is almost like a site for now, one trip. When you go it's to show it off one trip. When you go to purchase, where does it go? Nice big prints. Where do you, where mm -hmm. does this go? Oh, he's, ma he's making oh. contact him to oh, buy okay. the prints. Hey, so that's a Squarespace, Squarespace Space. site. Yeah. Okay. All that's right. cool. All right. Well, we, we've about burned out this show because we we're, we're over by 10 minutes and 23 seconds. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to bid you adieu. But before we go, I want to thank everybody who mm -hmm. put in, sent in their portfolios. Remember, if you yeah. have a portfolio and you don't like it or you're unhappy with it, you think you start from scratch, you're already paying for one at myportfolio.com from Adobe. They've got really nice templates. You can have it up and running tonight. Mm -hmm. So definitely do that. Uh, also, <coughs> as a reminder, don't forget Saturday, Worldwide Photo Walk. Tell your friends mm -hmm. and go out and walk and have a great time. By the way, the, the prizes this year are off the hook. If you win the grand prize, it is a Canon RP mirrorless yep. with a 24 to 105 lens, plus a Canon printer, plus the full Adobe suite. I mean, there's a ton of, and platypods and all kinds of prizes. The prizes this year are fantastic. Uh, the leader prizes are fantastic. The runner-up prizes, prizes are fantastic. You get B&H gift cards. So, so Canon, Adobe, B&H, everybody stepped up to come up with great prizes for the walk this year. So it's Saturday, October 5th. Be there or be square. Don't forget to order your photo walk shirts. Go to the worldwidephotowalk.com. Just buy the shirt. It's a cool shirt to have. And if you can give a dollar to support the Springs of Hope, that would be awesome. So, I mean, they're orphans. It's a buck. Come on. Help an yeah. orphan. <laughs> they're orphans. You want to do something good today? Help an, help an, or, help an orphan Come out. on, help an orphan. You know, so anyway, there's that. And you can uh, give 100 bucks if you want. Thanks to Jeff. It's Jeff, cool. where can people uh, learn more about you? Where can they go? Uh, they can go to my uh, website, which is jlphoto-graphic. Um, they can go to... That's a nice shot. Uh, they can follow me on Instagram, which Dude, is that's jlphoto... Valencia, that's Valencia, Spain. That is, uh, no, that's the um, Polytech. Polytech. That's Polytech. No, no, go back to that. Are you serious? That's Polytech? That's Polytech. Go back to that shot. Right there. That's Polytech. Oh, my gosh. That fooled yeah, me. I that's thought right that. that's right off I-4 right there. Now yeah. that I see it, now, I, now, now that you say yeah. it, I recognize it. I thought that for sure was Valencia. I'm like, Jeff, I don't remember you going to La Valencia. Because yeah. I monitor Jeff's movements very carefully. <laughs> very, very carefully. carefully. So would you would you say that you're an uh, architectural photographer or a travel or? Yeah, so I, I do a lot of architectural work. I know you do a lot of nudes. I, I do no nudes. So <laughs> a nudes. lot of nudes. I shoot in the nude, but no, I don't do any oh, nudes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, yeah, so I do a lot of architectural work for um, architects in Florida here. But uh, um, I, I do everything. I like Rick Salmon talks about specializing in Nothing. He specializes and in not specializing. And not specializing. Yeah. So I, I kind of like that. And my job takes me to all kinds of places that I end up photographing. You'll see the uh, diversity on my um, Instagram page. Yeah. But, uh, so a lot of people a lot don't. Of stuff. A lot of people don't know about Jeff, but he's a, he's a sniper for the NSA. So <laughs> he's a sniper. He kills people. He travels around, yeah. and kills them, and then he comes back and takes pictures. Yeah. So. I, not I, a bad job. It pays well. I get around. Yeah. He does. He kills people. Jason Bourne. That's him. <laughs> He's a Jason Bourne kind of guy. Yeah. Hey, so. do, we, do we show a trailer for his class? I bet we could. I know we've we shown could. it. Yeah. Maybe we have one. I Jason. One. Jay, no, we've seen it many times. We've yeah. played on the grid here. Maybe, maybe Jason can cue it up for us. There he is. That's Jeff right there. Look at how happy he is. <laughs> I was. Look, that was, we like that picture. That was pretty class. Hey, can we can we cue up his uh, trailer to, to wrap up the show? No, no. we can't. No, we can't. All right, no, that's it's... all right. We'll go to.
kelby1.com. Yeah, go to yeah, kelby1.com and, kelby1 and watch, watch it there. You can watch it right there. And comment, too. I, uh, I check those comments quite often. And uh, if you have a question or yeah, right chat, there. Yeah. comment away. All right. Well, everybody, thanks so much. Thanks for watching and thanks for chilling and uh, all that stuff. And uh, we will catch you guys. I'm not here next week. I'm here next week. Are you? Yeah, you should be. Yeah. So yeah, we're back by from the next, photo walk. By yeah, we'll by, be back. You'll be back. Hey, hey, isn't my webcast Tuesday? So I could show some stuff Wednesday from, from the China Yeah, trip. yeah. Cool. I got lots of Let's shit. I got crazy stories. Crazy. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jeffy. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks Mr. Kuna. Yeah, thanks. Bye. See you guys. You need a tripod that is compact, that is portable enough to take with you anywhere, one that is adaptable to any situation, that will prove versatile enough for any shoot, and is compatible with your other gear, giving you freedom to create your own perspective. Look no further, Platypod Ultra does it all. Visit platypod.com for more info.